Amid rising gas prices this year, many commuters have made the switch to e-bikes and scooters, as well as all of the benefits that they pose in terms of avoiding parking fees, ease of storage, and of course, navigating gridlocked streets. But there's an indirect environmental benefit to this transportation evolution. A UK study released earlier this year determined that the CO2 emissions produced by the energy required to run e-bikes average about 22 grams per kilometer, while gas-powered vehicles emit more than 250 grams per kilometer. The research, which focused on e-bike usage in the UK, determined that over 24 million tons of CO2 could be avoided by enhanced usage of e-bikes. From what we've seen so far, the pandemic has fueled the progression of the use of micromobility vehicles within the uh, downtown Toronto core. And that will continue to grow over time as people start to realize that these vehicles are much more than just a commuting device. Rather, it's actually more of a lifestyle uh, to own an electric bicycle or an electric scooter. However, not everyone's on board with the demand for these smaller EVs. While some cities have fielded complaints from cyclists and pedestrians about the dangers of e-bikes on bike and pedestrian paths, others have instituted outright bans. Toronto City Council refused to join a province-wide pilot program for e-scooters as they're still forbidden on city streets. We have seen a lot of customers being a little afraid of purchasing an e-scooter. They're always questioning the legality of these electric vehicles, uh, whether or not they're going to be pulled over by the cops, uh, what are the fines associated with it. The boom in this country is modest compared to other parts of the world. According to reports by the International Energy Agency and Bloomberg New Energy Finance, it's two and three wheeled vehicles that are driving the global EV sales boom. And the bulk of those purchases are happening in countries like China, India, and Vietnam. While EV passenger vehicles have made huge gains over the past few years and now make up 9% of the global car market, or an equivalent of 16.7 million vehicles, two- and three-wheeled EVs have exploded to reach 42% of the global small vehicle market, equivalent to 242.7 million vehicles, according to Bloomberg New Energy Finance.